VIP. Let's kick it. Ice, ice, baby. What's going on, YouTube? It's Jay Wilson coming at you with a video here on Monday. I've hit a thousand. I've reached the echelon. Thank you so much to everyone that subscribed, commented, liked, disliked. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. So let's jump to the video. It's all about bloat. That's right, not Malawi bloat, bloat. It affects multiple fish, not just fish from Lake Malawi. So let's jump to it. What is bloat? Bloat. It affects your fish's abdom abdomen. Boom. Just like when you eat that 72 ounce steak, trying to get that competition to get that free steak, your fish dump, jump to the top, bloat, eat a bunch of food, but that's not it. Malawi bloat, aka regular bloat, regular bloat is caused from a parasite inside you known as hex. I can't pronounce it, so it's here. That's right, hex. It lives inside your fish. When it's agitated, it causes bloat. It can be caused by stress, most likely abnormal water conditions, okay? And also high proteins. Not high proteins, but these harsh proteins we feed our fish. Now, it's not just proteins. And here's the evidence behind it. A while ago, a group did a controlled test on Embunas. Over two months, it fed brine shrimp, 40% of the fish's body weight. Two months, I said, boom. No bloat to these fish. So we're gonna take proteins clear out of this equation because it wasn't proteins. They didn't get bloat. Are you following me, okay? These fish carry a parasite in their body. When it's agitated by poor water quality and stress, it can cause bloat, okay? But why is it called Malawi bloat? Well, because probably most of the fish that were kept during that time were from Lake Malawi and they were like, hey, let's call it Malawi bloat, okay? That's why it's probably called Malawi bloat. But we're gonna call it bloat for this video. Reason why I'm doing this video is because I've seen too many videos on YouTube. I've seen too many comments, too many threads that are giving wrong information. So I reached out to four of the best aquatic people in my mind that I could to get this aggregated information to one video to give to you, to give you the best information moving forward in your hobby, just in case you ran across this. So you can use this video if, and I hope you don't, but if you run into this situation, you can get out of it. So let's jump to it. How can you prevent bloat? Well, simple, preventative maintenance. Let's do it, okay? Let's do those water changes. Let's test that water. Let's keep your parameters at a pristine level. Cyber Aquarius knows it's best, okay? Jump to his channel and check out how to keep your nitrates low. If your nitrates are at the lowest possible level, possibly at a zero, you're probably gonna scathe the zero at that uh, bloat level, okay? You're never gonna have bloat, okay? Jump to honey. Honey does it best. This guy knows what he's doing. These guys know exactly what they're doing, okay? People that are feeding high protein foods with premium, premium, high quality foods with high protein levels don't ever have bloat, okay? So to me, protein is not a factor. But if you have crappy levels of water, let's say I did early in stages and I was feeding high protein foods, I had bloat in my neon and it killed them. But everybody told me it was because I was feeding high protein foods. <coughs> Wrong, okay? Killed my best fish. Killed my main man. He was gone. So let's talk about it, okay? Preventative maintenance, okay? Preventative maintenance prevents bloat. But where does bloat come from? It's not protein. Protein doesn't put bloat in your fish. It could be a contributing factor, but it's not the one that causes it. Your fish carries a parasite called hex. Ding, ding, ding. Don't know how to pronounce it, so it's located here, 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 and here. Okay, hex. Your fish is swimming around, it's loving it, loving it, loving it. Now it's got bloat. Well, how did it get bloat? Well, your water quality sucked. You weren't doing your preventative maintenance. You were feeding it some high quality food, even though it was high quality food. Your fish got a little agitated. It was stressed out. Your water quality sucked, and bam up. Sham whack! Now your fish is fat, its eyes are puffy, its butthole is big. Now your fish is on its way to death. So how do we fix that? Well, we try our best. So we reach into the cabinet and we grab Metro. 
Well, Metro's not going to save it. There is no documented case of Metro saving it. Okay? But Metro will help it from spreading. Okay? Because it will spread. That's right, brother! It will help it stop spreading! Okay? So we're going to help it to stop spreading by using Metro. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you have a med tank or a whole tank because we're going to try to get that fish in the whole tank because if you have clout, that is going to be your help. Okay? Because clout stains... Your silicone! It will stain it a blue-green, okay? But it is a harsh chemical, so if you don't use chemicals, I understand because I don't use clout. But a friend of mine said you can use one part table salt to one part Epsom salt. It is a laxative, folks, for the fish. You mix them together, so that would be seven cups for my 150 gallon. You do the math. And it will help the fish go and hopefully it will pass. Now it's a 50-50 shot. Those are the best odds in Vegas. Are you tracking? I'm trying to make this as fun as possible because bloat is a boring and tough subject. 50-50 odds. One part, one part, half a cup, half a cup. Seven cups. <sighs> Laxative. Try to get them into a whole tank and try to help them out. I've heard saline solution um, directly into a mouth. I've heard a P in a cube of Epsom salt and hopefully that'll work. I've heard multiple, you know, I've heard multiple things folks, but the only thing I've ever seen work is clout. Um, I've never used it, but I've seen it in action at my local fish store. Uh, Metro does not stop it, but it helps it from spreading. So that is a quick video on bloat. I hope you learned a lot and I'm about to recap because I'm about to give you a summary of what you need to know about bloat because this video can't be long. Bloat. It sucks. It'll kill your fish and this is what you need to know. Bloat is a parasite. It lives in your fish. It's called Hex. I consulted with four of the best possible people on this subject. I aggregated their information for this video. Preventative maintenance will help you. Keeping your levels at the extreme pristine level will help you move forward without ever having bloat. When you purchase a new fish, I highly recommend that you keep them in a hold tank. I highly recommend you keep them in a hold tank if you have those resources. If you don't, you may want to think about potentially either medicating them, if that's what you do, or simply watching them really closely. Not all fish are perfect. If you do run into the situation where they have bloat, metro them. Help them from stop spreading. Raise your tank temperature to an 81 degree to 82 degree temperature. You speed the life cycle of the parasite. You help the medicine work. I then recommend you turn off your light to help the fish calm because remember, this also comes upon from stress, okay? So, preventative, if in fact it comes on, medicate, get them into a medicine tank if you can because it can spread, and hope for the best. Folks, everybody knows, well I'm hoping you know what bloat looks like. The stomach's big, the anus is big and red, the eyes can get puffy, and it can get real nasty. If you finish this video, I'll put some photos at the end of what bloat can look like. I do appreciate you tuning in. Bloat is a, is, is a very touchy subject and there's a lot of information out there. There's too much information out there with too many people um, adding their two cents and I'm adding my two cents now. Um, I hope this has been informative and I hope this has been to the point with not a lot of fluff. And thank you so much for helping me get to 1,000 subscribers.